So I want, realistically. <gasps> no! Pause. I'm Desanye Wet, artist, singist, gamist, and most evilest bimbo. And on this channel, I do something a little different. I draw and talk and play my most favorite video game, Minecraft, all at the same time. And if you really like what you see, make sure to hit that like and subscribe and press all those good buttons that'll make me happy. Thank you. Hello everyone. You know what time it is. It's the time of the chickens. It's the era of the chicken. It's my chicken era, era's tour of the chickens. I'm Taylor Swift now. <laughs> All right, so in the last episode, I started to build this farm and I said, hey guys, I don't actually know what the recipe is situation for to get the chickens to be on a nest. And so I went a couple of episodes not knowing, but I finally did actually look it up in my notes to see what the chickens is the recipe of the nest is. And I figured out that I do actually need hoppers. So I, it takes hoppers. It's like, it's hoppers. It's a hopper in the middle like this. And it's like hay bales all the way around here. So that's how you get those. So I was, I was already thinking ahead. I was like, oh, you know, the nests would probably be more of like a late game item that I would want. I would super want to reward myself in the beginning easily. So it's a late game item. So I already have the infrastructure partially built. So that's fine. So what we're going to do this episode is get the next evolution of chicken and right here we go this is the this is the goal of every episode is to get the next evolution of chicken which by the way if this is your first episode that you're watching I recommend you go to the first episode in the series because obviously you've missed out on a lot so far and you don't know the lore this world I'm gonna put a little card at the top go to the first episode there's also a playlist there's a little you can you can click up there if you're on mobile or on desktop on I don't think it works if you're watching it on a TV you have to actually go to my profile but while you're there you should but watch it from the beginning because you're missing so much and you're missing I was almost maybe potentially in a mess and like I talk about my hot girl diseases it's a lot of fun it's a rip snort and oh, I'll talk about the UFOs we have fun here we have fun here but yeah so this episode and also nobody's been commenting guessing what the next chicken will be you guys are slacking you guys are not guessing what the next evolution of chicken will be and it's been breaking my heart tremendously but yeah that's the goal is to get the next evolution of chicken the last one we got was these cobblestone chicks right so now we have cobbles I have no clue no the last chickens we got were the ice chickens <laughs> so I have no clue what the next chicken no so wait <laughs> no that's not the last chicken we got I'm losing it. This is not, so the last chicken we got was the emerald chicken. That's the last chicken we got, is this green emerald chicken. And we got the emerald chicken by breeding the ice chicken. Okay, so here's the goal for the episode. The goal, the first goal as always, is to get the next evolution of chicken. So I gotta breed two emerald chickens together and get the next evolution of chicken. The next, the next goal is to get the water source block because I said in a previous episode that I would either do a water source block or do another thing. And I never did the water source block because I did the other thing instead. So this episode, it's definitely going to be to get a water source block. Not just a water source block. I'm going to get an infinite water source. I'm going to build an infinite water source. And that's going to be the goal for this episode, aside from me the next chicken. Okay, let's go. I used to have a button that I could switch my character, the view, from third person. I think that would be if I actually... Okay, I did it. So now when I'm... T I don't have the mod installed that has my head... Oh, my horns and my tails. I don't have it installed. I'm naked. Don't look at me. But anyway, now when I'm talking and I just want to talk, I, boom, now we're talking. Now I'm talking to you. I'm hornless and I'm tailless and I'm disgusting. Don't even look at me. I have to fix that. <laughs> I have to fix that because what am I without my tail, bro? What the heck? All right, so this emerald chicken, I don't remember how I got the emerald chicken. I presume it was from the ice chicken. So I'm gonna go ahead and breed the ice chicken and they're gonna drop me another ice block at some point. I'm not super worried. All I need to do to get an infinite water source is to... Okay, so we have this water source. I think I've never done this before. I've never done this before, so I don't fully know. But allegedly, hypothetically, if I were do this, right? Okay. So the thought I'm thinking, I'm thinking a thought. And I gotta think about where I wanna put the water. <laughs> what was that? Um, where do I wanna put, I'm gonna, I wanna put the water, I'm gonna put it somewhere stupid at first and I'm gonna put it somewhere convenient later. So just right now it's gonna go here, right? So my thought is I put, who was that? You saw that, right? I want an instant replay. There was a guy, a chicken guy, walking around in this area. Look, okay, I'm not crazy. They're jumping. Okay, 
That worries me. It worries me a lot, actually. But hypothetically, if I were to hypothetically make a box like this, because I have all the bone meal I could potentially ever need, and then if I get water, I can do a mob grinder and I can start getting mob drops. If I put the water there, it's, and I, no, if I put the ice block there and I break the ice block, hypothetically, if there's an ice block beneath it, not an ice block, if there's any block beneath it, then it will turn into a water block. But if there's not a block beneath it, it will just break, not drop anything, right? It's how I understood it to be. No! 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 You die now. You've sealed your fate. Your fate. Your dinner. Your dinner, come here! <laughs> oh, I didn't drop any. Okay, I have the furnace. I should probably get some charcoal going. I probably want some charcoal. That may be who of me. Okay, I'm looking for ice. Is there ice available? Yes, too far away from the fence! So I'm gonna test this ice block, my theory. And maybe I have to break it with a pickaxe. All right, so I'm gonna put it down here. I'm gonna break it. <gasps> it made water! Okay, so I just need to do that one more time. I think if I do it just one more time, I can still have an infinite water source because I don't have iron. I don't have iron, hold on. I don't have iron, so I can't make a bucket. So I'm gonna do, I need two water blocks, ice blocks. I need two ice blocks and then I need bone meal. And then I can make my two deep infinite water source that I like to make one block worlds. Which by the way, if you haven't seen my other one block sky block series, I do a lot of this there. This is me just kind of recapping. But like, so does everybody else. Everybody does it, so whatever. Anyway, go watch that one too. It's probably funny, I don't remember. It's been a while. <laughs> I just really like one block sky block. I don't know what it is about having to build the world yourself. One more ice block. This is the vibe. 11 years playing Minecraft and it's still stuff that I haven't done yet. Like make water from a ice block. I hate these big oak trees. The pitter patter of the chicken feet sounds so much like fire burning. I keep having flashbacks. I keep having flashbacks. Did anybody lay a ice block while I was away? Yes, you did, and you laid it in a spot. I love when you guys lay your, your blocks and your eggs very close to the fence so I can just come through like this and pick them up. I love when y'all do that. You're so lovely to me. All right, so now, look at that. It's an ice block. Okay, infinite water source achieved. And that should be sufficient for when when I get iron. And I don't know when the iron is gonna come. I don't when, I don't know when that's gonna happen. I hope soon. I do hope it's, I don't know exactly though. But now I have torches. So I don't have to super worry so much about like slabs and stuff. I can just build willy nilly and not worry about it. I've been playing so much Power World, I thought I could do a roll. I was, I was hitting control, like idiot. It's like, I wanna roll, I wanna roll. I love rolling, much fun. Especially in Power World, the character's so cute. Even though there's only like two cosmetic options, it's because it's being played by me. Okay, so I have an emerald. I need two emerald to get to the next evolution of chicken because I got the first thing on the checklist of the episode done, right? I got the first thing on the checklist done, which was the get the infinite water source. I got the infinite water source. So now what I require is the next evolution of chicken. But that may take a while. So what I'm gonna do while I wait for that to happen is I'm going to waste some of my wood and I'm gonna I'm gonna make my infinite water source more accessible. But I need to put some stuff away. So while I wait for stuff to happen, I'm gonna defy my water and hole. Like, I know it's not permanent and everything, but like, I just, I still think it should be beautiful. And I'm actually realizing I think I've done it wrong. Yeah, I did. There's no harm in beautifying your hole. If we all had ugly holes, it would be a very boring world. I love my beautiful water hole. It's so beautiful now. Honestly, that was very much worth the effort. And it wasn't even really like that much effort. I was just being a little bit silly. But in order to get to the end of the episode, I actually have to breed these two emerald chickens together using this emerald. And I have no clue what the next evolution of it will be, but guys, if you guess in the comments and you're right, you get eternal bragging rights for my entire channel forever. At this point in the series, you've probably seen enough to be able to make at least a quasi-educated guess. I don't know how many people can get into my mind. It's an enigma. It's a mystery. There's no telling what I was thinking. But hypothetically, if you were to think like me, what chicken do you think would be the next chicken? You comment below or you'll break my heart forever. Also guys, like I'm running out of ideas for stuff to draw. Like I never know what to draw. What do you think I should draw? What are you watching right now? What t what show are you watching? It can be a cartoon, it can be an anime, it can be like a real life show. I was recently watching this show called Resident Alien. It was really good, but we watched all the episodes. And it was funny because like basically the main character is just like a super autistic person, but he's an alien. And that's a trope I've noticed is that like autistic people are usually like represented by aliens and robots in popular media. Like just look at Data from Star Trek. He's just an autistic person. I mean, he's a robot, but still. <laughs> also, he's, well, I don't want to say it. I don't want to say it out loud. But in my defense, 
at the time of the filming of the show, when I was, I was, I didn't know anything. Here's the thing. <laughs> I thought Data was hot. I thought he was extremely attractive. I liked his personality. I liked that he was a robot, you know? Not technically a man, the traditional sense. I respect that. Until, oh my God, Brent Spiner, if you are watching this, <laughs> Please don't take this personally. There was an episode of Star Trek The Next Generation where for whatever reason, I forget everything else about the scene. I forget the context, I forget the episode it was even in. But for whatever reason, there was an episode where they had to do a close up of Data's hand. And I was excited. I was like, oh my God, this one was for the girls. They they thought, they, whoever storyboarded this was a woman. And they do the scene. I, I gagged because he had this crazy, and it was the 80s, so I understand. I understand why it, it was the norm, it was trendy. Oh my god, but <laughs> they did the close-up of his hands, and Brent Spiner, the actor, who was at the time portraying Data, famously, had, I don't remember if it was his ring finger or his pinky finger, but he had a, he had a c*** nail. He had a nail that he had grown out specifically with which to partake in illicit substances, and it's not really a secret. But when I saw that, it immediately, <laughs> I got the ick so bad. I got the ick instantly. I was completely over it. I was like, oh, jeez, man, I really like that character too, but that, that nail, really, Jesus Christ, it did me in. It really, <laughs> it did a number on me. I was, I could not have been more disgusted than when I saw the nail. That was the first time when I was like, you know, men maybe aren't my thing. Because a woman, I feel like, would maybe have a little bit of the forethought. She would probably go out and get her nails done. You know what I mean? Like she, if she had any kind of token fingernail situation, if she's a famous actress, on television, in a long-running, well-beloved, syndicated television show, I'm sure she has the fun to get a fake nail put on for a couple of days. You know what I mean? I don't know. That, it's burned in my brain to the point that every time I think of Data and like see art of Data, like there's so much beautiful, adorable art of Data on the internet, but every time I see it, all I can think of is that crusty ass fingernail that he bless his heart Brent Spiner I'm so sorry I actually worked for a company very briefly that did like customer service for cakes and Brent Spiner I did the customer service Brent Spiner sent a cake to his friend um Majel Be no it was I forget her name she played Beverly Crusher he sent her a cake for her birthday that was cute that was adorable but it was it was taking a little while to deliver like it was not late yet but it wasn't delivered yet either so it was like so he sent an email can i guys can i tell you about his email signature <laughs> this is what i'm saying this is what i'm saying when i'm like yeah i have a pretty boring life also i've talked to brent spiner professionally <laughs> no his email signature i don't know if this is i don't know if i can even say this I don't know if I can say it. I don't know if it's public knowledge, but Brent Spiner, for his, e no, for his email signature, he puts a little emoji of an eyeball where the eye is in Spiner. That's adorable. That is such grandpa behavior. I'm obsessed. I thought it was so cute. I was like, oh my God, are you looking for another child? You could adopt me. I'm like 30, but you could adopt me still. Oh my God, it was so funny. I lost it. And it's not like even like an emoji emoji. It was like an ASCII like character. It was like an actual like text character. I, it sent me. <laughs> I lost it. That will stay with me forever. That will stay with me forever. Any Trek fans in the audience? Leave leave an emoji in the chat if you're or in the comments. Leave emoji in the comments. Leave your favorite emoji or leave a, the closest one you can find related to Star Trek. Maybe the alien emoji. I don't know. Leave that emoji in the in the comments if you're a fan of Star Trek. And also tell me what your favorite series is, because I have a controversial. I have a hot take. Now, my favorite Star Trek was... Like, what could be better than an extremely beautiful woman who is basically Seven of Nine IRL ranting at you about her love of Star Trek? Be so for real. Let's breed these chickens. Why is he not breeding? He's not breeding. Maybe I'm realizing, maybe they need to be bred with emerald blocks. No, 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 no. No! I made a mistake. So they actually, I'm pretty sure, now that I think about it, I think they need to be bred with emerald blocks, which means we're actually gonna be here a lot longer than I than I had anticipated. <laughs> oh, we're gonna be here a long time, folks. I need to breed the heck out of the emerald, which is what I need. Because like, even if 
I only need the 18 emeralds, like still, I'm gonna need more emeralds in the future because I think if I remember correctly, there is a villager chicken who, when you breed them together, makes a baby villager or something like that. Which, by the way, if you do want to download this mod pack and play it for yourself, I'm gonna put it on my Patreon, okay? Don't be mad, my Patreon is $3 a month. I'll put it on my Patreon, you pay me $3, you download it, you unsubscribe. I got the $3, you got the mod pack, the same one that the other guy made on his bedrock, whatever, it was $5. He charged $5. So technically you're getting a discount anyway. If you want to play this mod pack, it's on my Patreon. And it comes with a world file as well, because the guy didn't know how to make it implement the world at the same time. So it's going to be a separate world file and then the mod.jar. You don't have to trust me, whatever, I don't care. You don't have to download it. Always holding a gun to your f***ing head. No! The chicken situation is becoming untenable. I'm just gonna, I'm just, I just need to pass the time until I have emeralds. <laughs> this sucks! This sucks so much! Don't play this! Don't download it! Don't play it! It sucks! I'm joking. Actually, I'm, I'm having so much fun. Like, genuinely. I love this mod pack. It was worth every dollar. And to find out how much I paid for this mod pack, if you haven't already, watch the first few episodes in this series where I disclose that. I don't remember which episode it is, but... It wasn't cheap. Could have paid my rent instead, but no, I had to have a mod pack about chickens. I could, mm, I don't know. I was thinking I could hypothetically start. I think what I might do, because there's like so much emeralds that have to happen, I might just go do my skincare and come back. And maybe also do some womanly household chores. We'll see how many eggs, or not eggs, how many emeralds have been laid. Because I'm not about to sit here and just watch TikToks for a million hours. I already do that every single day. I'll go to my skincare. I'll leave you guys with a time lapse and we'll see. I'm gonna stand actually in the middle of the chickens in case. I don't know if like stuff can spawn. Well, I already have four emeralds. Let me breed these guys. That guy's not breedable. All right, so we'll do a time lapse. And I'll go do my skincare. God, chicken speed to you and yours. Time lapse, go. <laughs> Okay, let's see how many emeralds I have. Let's see it. Show me the emeralds. <laughs> One. <laughs> right, okay. <laughs> no, this is fine, we're chilling. I might have a little bit forgot that this part of the, the request is that they have to be a whole block to be eligible for breedage. I'm realizing. I'm starting to wonder if maybe I should have been more diligent about my note taking or maybe if I should establish a plan. I feel like that's why all the other YouTubers are so successful because they establish plans and they figure out what they're going to do before they do. <laughs> maybe that's the smart move. Maybe that is the, the smart move in this situation. What if- okay. I have an I Chad, I have an idea. To make my life just a bit simpler, especially for like AFKing, I think I'm gonna build a temporary chicken conveyor belt. And what this conveyor belt will do is group the chickens together but not crush them, and then it will also take all the items out and drop them to a place where I can AFK. I think that's the vibe. And I'm gonna put it up here in my temporary chicken area. This might work. So I wanna make it eight blocks long. Time lapse, go. Yeah, I'm, I'm understanding my vision. reintroduce the stairs, I think, and then we'll get the chickens up the stairs. I want the chickens to go in here, and then be kind of pushed here, and all the stuff that they have be pushed out of there. So I want, realistically... <gasps> no! Chat. Chat! CHAT! Right, so... <laughs> I just lost a lot of eggs. <laughs> I think that was primarily what I was carrying, was eggs. Thank goodness, we have so many chickens. No! No! Please, come inside! Every chicken come inside, please! I can't lose anymore! Please, 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 please! 
Okay, all right, so as I was saying, um, I need ice blocks again. <laughs> okay, I have just enough. And I need to see if the ice blocks, when I break them, if it does actually still do the thing that I need to do. Or if now that I've lost everything, I have to start over. So I need a pickaxe, and I have to deal with like a wood pickaxe for now. And I'm gonna go over there and see if the water is watering. I'm gonna see if we have water. Please, I've had enough disappointment. Okay, that's perfect, that's perfect. Okay, so now, I'm gonna make trap doors, and the trap doors are gonna go on the top to keep the chickens from flying up and out because there's a little less protection over there than there is at any other part of the base. Oh, I lost all the emeralds. That's what happened. That's why it was so painful. I wasn't even thinking about that, but I did. Oh, brother. All that waiting for nothing. I'm gonna be able to open it like the, the space shuttle. You know how when the arm comes out of the space shuttle and it's like, you know? All right, this is gonna be a bit of an endeavor. I'm already scared. Every chicken come up the stairs. Every chicken. I'm hearing chickens die. I'm not thrilled about that. Go in. Chickens, go in. Chickens fall inside. Chickens don't jump off the edge. Why are chickens dying? Who's dying? Come here. You too, come here. Awesome. Okay, so that's batch one of the chickens. Oh my God. What are the baby emerald chickens? The chickens are dying in here. I think it's when I get too close. No, okay, so they're 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 in they're entity cramming. Maybe I want to widen it because I'm losing a lot of chickens. I'm losing a lot of chickens. Oh, this is no good. We're gonna widen it as much as we can since I lost everything. I didn't realize they would entity cram even if they had room to like walk around. Uh, okay, um, I don't know what I need to do. What if I just remove the water and then I could just walk underneath, right? Can I pick up items from underneath? Oh, they're all they're all dying. Can I pick up items through a trap door? I do have to take the water out either way because they're dying at an alarming rate. I, I don't know what I'm doing, just for the record. Still dying. They're cramming when I bring out the seeds now. Stop. What are you doing? They're all in there. So now I just need to see if I can collect... Oh, this is really unfortunate. I can collect the drop from beneath. Okay. All right. We're cooking. We're cooking. This is perfect. I needed you, but you're, you're annoying me. No! No! Oh, brother. This truly is chicken madness. <laughs> They keep super dying at an alarming rate. This is pretty bad. They're everywhere now. Infestation. Okay, but this does make the egg tossing a lot easier. Because now I can just take the eggs against the wall. I don't have to worry about hitting a chicken. Oh my god! What are you doing, little man? What are you doing out here? Ugh! 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 Bro, it's not even the nap. I can't even kill the baby chicken. Not even the purple guy. What? So close. I have 11. I have 11. We're close, chat. We're close. I'm nervous to put some eggs down, honestly. I'm worried. I'm concerned. We just need seven more emeralds. We just need seven more emeralds. That's it. Oh, five. Five more emeralds. We're so close, chat. We're so close. Can you feel it? Can you feel it? We're so close! One million percent IQ. One million level IQ move. Doing the bottom slabs. We only need four more. We only need four more emeralds. And then I can hopefully breed the chicken. And then we'll be done. Oh, sh Oh sh we have nine! Oh sh Oh sh we have nine! We have it, we got it, we did it! My pit of chicken that I torture for fun. What will it do? What will it be? Where is he? Show me the child. Where's the where's the child? Hello? I do have to do that a second time for the next episode because uh, you know we have to do whatever the heck just spawned. I can't even see it. No wait! Villager chicken! Look! Look! <gasps> villager chicken! Villager chicken! Villager chicken! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's a villager chicken. So now we can get villagers. Now we're gonna probably get villagers probably. Look at the little guy. He's a little villager. Okay. We got the next chicken. We got the water source block, infinite water source. Bye!